Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will try to answer one question from Discord about service providers and how to access auth user in service provider in your panel provider, which would be two in one, a lesson about Filament, but also a lesson about how Laravel service providers and auth works under the hood. So if you want to have some auth user based setting in your panel provider, if you do it like this, that wouldn't work. Let me show you another demonstration. So for example, in the panel, you may provide brand name. And if you provide a string, that would work. So here you have the test filament examples here. For example, if you change it here as a proof, that is where it lands. But if you try to use auth user here, let's do it this way. We refresh and we have an error attempt to read name on null. Although I'm logged in, as you see, I do have a user. So why this error happens and how to solve it. The solution is actually provided on the Discord itself by Dennis here. And the reason is that it is a service provider of Laravel and in service providers, auth isn't available yet. It is available only after middlewares. So a typical solution in Laravel projects would be to wrap that auth user and move it to middleware, which would be called when the auth is actually initialized. But for filament, Dennis is suggesting to wrap it in a closure and it will work magically. Let's try it out together. So we're doing the same auth user name, just adding closure function like this. We don't change anything else. We don't register that in any middleware. We just refresh the page and then it works. Magic, right? But now let me explain why. And this is kind of a bit deeper Laravel and even PHP knowledge. So when you define the closure function, it would be the same as you would define function anywhere else like public function, whatever, ABC something, you return something here and you may do something like return one divided by zero, which is an obvious error, but the error wouldn't appear until you actually call that function. So the same is actually happening here. Service provider registers the callback function as it would register any other function which is not immediately called. The closure function becomes a variable which would be called only later in the middlewares in this case when filament is actually processing that corner of showing the brand name then it gets that variable from the memory and then executes the code of that closure function. So if you do it as a string here it immediately gets executed. But if you do it as a closure, it is saved as a variable, which just happens to be a callback function. And then that variable is called later in the request lifecycle after the session authentication. And that's why this works with closure. So yeah, kind of a quick tip, but with a lesson around it on how lifecycle of filament and Laravel and PHP works under the hood. If you want more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel. I will keep shooting videos about filament and topics around it. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.